Hello traders. So yesterday market was really flat and uh, not flat. I think second half of yesterday's trading session it was uh, kind of moving on the higher side. Today there was a gap down, and you know what happened. Most of the time, uh, Bank Nifty was trying to close below forty three thousand and eighteen thousand six hundred was the uh, support for uh, Nifty, right? Now I've been saying this for a very long time. This is time for option sellers, and unless until market doesn't gap up. Uh, make a huge gap up maybe 400 or 500 points we have seen nifty gapping up more than 500 or uh, 400 or 500 points bank nifty gapping down or gapping up more than 600 800 points those times were really unfortunate but these are the really good time for option sellers right so we are into december series which means uh, november expiry last expiry we have finished and december is a five week expiry so we have five week expiry even if you make uh, two we uh, 2% per month you will end up more than uh, 10% or uh, yeah more than 10% right so again i'm saying do non directional strategies it is going to work in your favor so that's what i want to say and looking at the global markets uh, markets are really global markets are really uh, uh, if you have uh, if you are following us markets yesterday dow jones at uh, one point of the time fell more than 500 or 600 points and uh, people say there are many things and uh, people say that is because of uh, some china corona issue some uh, and all kinds of conspiracy all kind of theory they come out with but we really don't know i don't think china china is uh, having locked uh, corona issue for a very very long time being the most populous country in the world it is having corona issue for a very very long time so we don't have to worry about right see even if india even if there is corona issue in india our market doesn't work it uh, it doesn't care it is so resilient it doesn't even care what is happening to us market looking at uh, global market looking at the us market i thought sjx nifty will gap down to uh, a gap down but to my surprise bank nifty in fact gap down actually if you see today's price action this is nifty bank nifty gap down i think more than uh, it uh, not even gap down i think it was flat it opened at around 43000 below 43000 and immediately once the market started one first 5 minute candle alone moved more than 150 point that is the uh, that is how resilient indian markets are we, they really don't go, want to go down but the question now is whether bears are bears are trying last two days they are trying to bring bank nifty below 43000 uh, whether they are going to win it or not we will have to see tomorrow hopefully hopefully uh, nifty will uh, nifty and bank nifty uh, sorry us markets may uh, end in the red today that we really don't know time is now 6:45 only we have uh, another one or two more hours for us market to open so we'll have to wait and see how markets uh, span out in uh, global uh, globally how us uh, markets span out then we may gap down even if we gap down we are going to go on the higher side so that's what is going to happen right so we have been we have been seeing this for a very very long time markets are resilient otherwise also everything is fine what i personally feel is market has to consolidate if it is not consolidating if it is a healthy market see healthy market always consolidates then it moves on the higher side then it consolidates and move on the higher side this is how the market has to behave right so you know one run in a single run if it moves in one direction that's not going to be uh, good for uh, market participants so anyway this is how the markets are everything is fine and yesterday's video like uh, i am not going to say it went viral so lots of people commented about uh, yesterday's video i'll tell you I, you don't have to worry about this guy His, uh, uncle is very smart no he know how to he knows everything he know each and everything uh, how to come out of issues whether it is black swan event or whether it is a big gap up or gap down you don't have to worry about this uncle he will come out only thing is he has to learn how not to be arrogant right how not to be sarcast uh, sarcastic sarcastic that is what uh, everyone wants right 
so you you can follow anyone right nobody is going to question you it is up to you if you are not interested in any channel there is uh, next to the video there is a three dot if you click that you can see not interested in this content you just click that youtube is not going to show, show you this content anymore as simple as that you don't have to come to the comment session you don't have to post any annoying uh, negative uh, comments all you have to show, uh, do is not interested in this comment you just there is a three dot you just click that and put that one youtube is not going to show you anything or any uh, uh, any content about this channel or any other channel which whichever channel you like okay and uh, what we can see in fia front is that uh, uh, fia is have bought for uh, 12,241 uh, crores and DIs have uh, sold for around 744 crores, right? So this is how the markets are. And what is very much, uh, what is very interesting about uh, Nifty is uh, that uh, Reliance is uh, for the last two or three trading session, if you are uh, watching Reliance, Reliance is super bullish, right? And uh, today alone, uh, let us open the Reliance chart. Today it was flat, but yesterday it was rallying like anything. Last two days, from around 2600, it went high was around 2700. In fact, it went down. So I we really don't know what is happening with Reliance. Had you invested in Reliance, uh, of course, that's a disclaimer. Uh, maybe you would have made money. But what is the uh, thing is uh, petroleum uh, prices, crude prices are decreasing and uh, oil companies, oil marketing companies, Reliance or ONGC prices are increasing means that is uh, really uh, fishy, right? That is why I always uh, avoid stock options. Stock options are expensive to sell. Then second thing, it is very expensive to manage a stock options. So better stay away from stock options. This is what I will say. And if you see in the open interest front, what I can see is huge uh, calls are being written at 32, 43,200. So which means uh, people are uh, thinking that market may go down, bank nifty may go down. So 43,000 uh, call option, uh, short straddles are being returned and uh, 44,000 and uh, 42,000 strangles are uh, being returned. And when it comes to nifty, uh, nothing much. Uh, Nifty is having, believing, uh, people are believing that this 80 18,600, which is the lifetime high, is having the highest open interest, which means people think this 18,000 might not be taken out. That's why they have returned more number of puts in 18,600. So this is how the markets are uh, looking like. So we'll see how things pan out and US markets all uh, flat. Uh, whether it is uh, Dow Jones, S&P, Nasdaq, uh, everything is flat and hopefully it should, uh, uh, even if it goes down, I think market should open flat only. So that's what I think. So this is how the markets are and I know, uh, you know what, uh, I'll tell you something. I know this uh, trading video, these videos are all boring and every time we are talking about the markets which you already know you all know about the market what is happening in the market uh, very soon we will change the perspective we will talk more about strategies we will change the setup how we are talking or how we are presenting we will make this experience more enhancing so that uh, we can engage with our subscribers so that's what we are doing so it is a very uh, very long process uh, we have to set up the studio we have to change the in infrastructure so we have to do many things on that so till then bear with us i know this is boring i know every <laughs> you want more en engaging uh, videos so we will bring we will come up with engaging videos until then all you have to do is short the market or you have to do a non directional strategies and you can uh, make money as easy as uh, very uh, as easy, uh, very easily right so that's what i'm trying to say okay see you in another video till then take care bye